Hi, my name is Sandra Allen. I'm a retired school teacher living in Kitchener. Um, I retired five years ago and I started painting and I have found that over time I totally enjoy um, and painting and I'm able to sell some of my product. I have some very good friends whose homes are full of my art and finally one of them came to me, Alice, and she said, uh, my husband has an idea and I thought, hmm, uh, commission piece, yes, I'd love it. And she said, well, you know, what it, Owen's product is used to fertilize fields. And she said, would you be interested at all in doing a commissioned uh, large painting of uh, uh, a fertilized field or a field ready for, for having crops like in the spring or even the late fall, but a furrowed field. And so I said to her, well, I'd love to. So I began to do a little bit of looking around the internet for, for different ideas about how a field looks. And uh, I came up then with this lovely painting of a field and uh, we did some tweaking. The tree, she wanted more branches and Owen wanted the sky a little different color. And so uh, I had the small um, 16 by 20 inch uh, painting which I showed them and they were delighted. And then they said, Owen said, oh, by the way, the paint I'd like you to use is biosolid paint. And I said, is that possible? <laughs> Has it been done before? And he said, not to his knowledge. So I ran to the internet, because I do do that, and looked everywhere. And there is not one mention of using biosolids to paint a painting. And so I decided to give it a try. Okay, right. Before I could start though I had to be sure that it was a product that you could use as a painting. In other words, would it stick to the canvas? Would it flake off? So I began to do my work and I did some uh, smaller canvases using the biosolids uh, to test how it would adhere to the canvas and how it would uh, show the different values. In other words, light, dark, medium. It had to be able to reflect different shades for me to use it um, to, to create a painting. It gave me three jars of the material. The smallest jar was the most intense, the strongest, um, with the least particles. So I began to paint. Um, the, the charts show that, yes, I can do a value painting, yes, it can show different textures, yes, it can uh, cover the, the uh, canvas quite well, and that it did stick. We had been worried about it flaking off or um, developing a mold, or, but it didn't. It was, it was outstanding. I varnish all my works of art. Some of the different ones, I, I was worried that it would melt it off or, or streak it. Did not. It was perfect. Um, what an adventure. I mean, as an artist, it was so much fun to be challenged. Uh, more than that, it was in your own head, how you're thinking about things. I love telling somebody that I just completed a work of art that was commissioned and that it is made with biosolids. And they look at you like you are crazy. It's such a neat feeling. Uh, would I hesitate to do it again? Nope. I would not. It was a good challenge and a good way to continue my um, adventure in painting.